Well, a very good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Imagine Cruising 2023 World Indoor Bowls Championships live from Potters Resorts here in Hopton on Sea. So let's have a look what we have for you this morning. Well, we have the singles game. It is going to be Michael Stepney who will face Sam Tolchard. So let's have a look at what we have for the first part of today. Well, following this game will be David Gourlay, MBE, taking on the Canadian Coldy Otoff. And for the afternoon, two o'clock, Nick Brett against Jonathan Ross. And then Stuart Anderson, who will face David Bolt. Let's have a look at some of the match officials for this next game. Well, our marker is Greg Brown. The umpire is Mike Davis. And Sue Mates is on the shot clock. Let's go live to the portable rink and hand over to our MC, the man with a little bit of glitz and a lot of glam. It's Zach Patterson. <laughs> ah, thank you, Jason. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we're coming to you from Potter's Resorts, Hopton on Sea. Now, first out this morning, we have a player who has two Commonwealth medals. He has several national titles to his name and is the current world outdoor champion of champions. Please give a big warm welcome to Sam Tolchard. <laughs> His opponent for this match is a former Scottish Open and World Pairs runner-up. With numerous national titles to his name, including singles, pairs, triples and four championship titles. Put your hands together for world number 10, Michael Stepney. Maybe I'm blind, thinking I can see through this and see what's behind. Got no way to prove it. Ladies and gents, your commentators for this morning are Jason Parkinson and Graham Irving Cole. Thank you very much, uh, Zach. Once again, a very good morning to you all. Thank you for joining us down here at the Imagine Cruising World Indoor Bowls Championships for 2023. Joining me in the uh, commentary box is my partner in crime for the last few days, Jack Lentz, Graham Irving Park Cole. Meters. Morning, Graham. Good morning, Jason. Um, better well this morning, thankfully. Yes, quite nice. And I get soaked walking up to <laughs> <laughs> walking up to the venue. Five games for you today. Once again, we've got uh, two double sessions, so there'll be another game following this one before we break for the lunch. Thanks for joining us, whether you're joining us on the Facebook or YouTube channel. It's great to have you on board with us. Don't forget, as always, if you want to ask us a question, just pop it down in the, uh, the comments. Well played again. Yeah, two good starts at that length. Two green. Be looking for much of the same here. Oh, what a great start oh, that is. Three great balls from Sam Tolchard, obviously part of the uh, English Commonwealth Games team. Michael Stepney in a, a little bit of 
bother here. Be looking just to get down to the, the nearest of the back green balls. I think he's still struggling for weight. Urging it forwards, just needs to get to the red, the red ball. Yeah, so sure. Well, whether it's another or not, they're four fantastic balls for a first end. First end playing in the the portable rink. I'll be happy with that, I would think. Michael once again just trying to get down to either of the two little splits, get a good second shot. Could squeeze through for shot, but he'll be uh, be happy with close, second. Yeah. Oh, very close. Oh, yeah. Michael, what a bowl! May have just been a little bit unlucky, but what a fabulous bowl! Yeah, two shots. Sam Tolchard. He was uh, unfortunate that his ball lay down and moved the jack. Yeah. I mean, he still dropped to two as well, didn't Set he? Set score zero two after the first end. Yes, he did. Yeah. Yeah. So, very unlucky that is. You think he'd at least have saved, wouldn't you? Anyway, you'll forget about that. We'll go again. Thanks for joining us on the stream. I can see there's quite a few new people on as well. Don't forget, if you are on the YouTube, uh, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, this will notify you of all our live feeds that are coming up. Saves having to keep an eye on things, it will send you a notification, but just click the subscribe. Jack Lentz, 25 metres. Also helps me trying to sell the sport as well, when you've got a lot of subscribers. Absolutely does, and it's, it's a good way of uh, you know, getting notified and stuff as well. If, as soon as the World Bowls Tour event goes live, then you'll get a notification. <laughs> Slightly higher line this time. That's very impressive that that's his fullest away ball in six. It's a good track here. Yeah, great bowl again, just a, a little bit of an unfortunate connection. Yeah, th three inches in front of Jack High. Well, is it just going to get back in time? Here it comes. Oh, another good bowl. Greg will let us know. One green. He's unlucky again. Still one green.
So we'll just try and cover the back position here. I was trying to get down into this split. It's not far Very away. Close. Oh, well played. Great ball. One shot, Michael Stepney. Set score, one, two, after two hands. Michael, of course, part of the pair combination with uh, Jason Greenslade, who are through to Monday's uh, Open Pairs final. Yeah, that's going to be a good one. They face Nick Brett and uh, Greg Harlow in that final. And since he Jack Lentz, 27 metres. As soon as he made the, the change in their first game and, and uh, Michael went to, to lead. Michael has had played some brilliant balls. Certainly has. <laughs> so, well done. Good start. Good. Yep, that's right. <coughs> well, how's the pace? She wants to hold up. She's going to fall under. One red. Gap between the short ball and the jack. Two inches. So Mike will just be trying to drift round behind the jack here, I would imagine. One red. Which is his own ball. One red. Michael Stepney. Two red. Just wondering whether Sam may just take a little bit of gamble here and go for the uh, the, the two red balls. Or he can still stick with the draw. 
on the inside mat. I think he may just play the pace with him being on the inside edge of the mat there. Now, I think he might have been unlucky here. I think he's going to be two down. So, yeah. Just about two shots, step. Michael Stepney. Still with two shots. Set score 3 2 after three ends. Jack length 28 metres. Over as well. <coughs> so I go just looking to drop a yard here. Still played through here. Good adjustment. I've seen it, Michael, to change his hand. Better this time. Yeah, it's well played. Yeah, well done. One red. The gap between the jack and the ball is three inches. Oh, down to pace from there. We get back. I certainly couldn't have been any closer to the jack there without actually moving it. Sam shot here just to play maybe through, connect to take both red balls away here. Just spotted the clock, get a move on there. <coughs> or is he just drawing? He's playing down that hand, yeah, he's just drawing. I mean, he can get just down to the jack. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, the two options. Could have peeled them both away. Just overplayed. That's the only problem with that hand, just that slight up tends to just stick. 
Two shots, Michael Stepney. Set, set score, 5-2 after four ends. So Michael Stepney winning the last three ends. Takes a 5-2 lead in this first set. Don't forget, it is the uh, best of two sets of nine ends. And then if it's uh, two tied sets or a set each win, it will go to a three-end tie break. Those asking about the shot clock, each player will get uh, five timeouts. And then if it goes to a tie break, yeah, each player will receive meters. an additional timeout. Timeout um, will give the player... 60 seconds from the minute they call for the timeout. Just overcorrected. Very good opening delivery by Sam Tolshart. That would suggest he maybe doesn't like what is the ball that he's delivered there. One green. Well, has he taken that pace off? <coughs> so I just think he's over again. Yeah. So another let off there for Sam. These are the shots you really need to make count when someone just has a, a couple of bad balls. Get the pressure on quickly. Let's see if we can do it this time. Certainly a far better track. Yeah, urging it on. <laughs> yeah, excellent ball. Two green. They preferred it just to have stayed on the other side of the jacket. It's just a slight little bit of a, a target for, for Mike, but it was an exceptional bowl. On a narrower line, depends if he's kept his pace. It's very close here. Just going to wander now. Well, a chance to even the score line up. Just trying to get inside the back red bowl of Michael Stepney's should be enough to make a three. Down to pace from there again, Jason. Yeah, needs to make contact. The two, I think. Two. Two shots, Sam Tolshard. <laughs> Set score 5 4 after five ends.
Jack Lentz, 24 and a half metres. Back to the short lengths. That from Michael. Yes, he will be happy with that ball. I'm just overplaying it here. Again, an absolutely perfect line, though. Yeah, he's, he's nailing the lines. Get up now. One red. A far second shot. The last ball so. is 16 inches in front, Jack High. Get back in time. No, nope. <sighs> just gonna stick wide. Just the pace. That's all. It'd be a little bit disappointed with that. That was, you know, being his jack length. It will be. You just needs to forget the end. Move on. Still very much in this game in this set. Not far over here. Any touch on the jack is a bonus. <laughs> Two shots, Michael Stepney. So another good last ball from Mike Stepney. Set That's score seven shots. four after six ends. Don't forget, once again, we have the double session this morning. Five games for you today. Game following this one will be David Gaul AMBE facing on the Canadians Cody Altoff. Cody uh, has already been playing in the open pairs here at Potter's Resorts, played really well. We also have the uh, the local derby this evening. That'll be a, a cracking game where Wayne Wilgris will face Catherine Redmond. <laughs> That last game this evening should get the crowd going, hopefully.
Well, can it get down to the green bowl? Has done. Yes, he's up it. Sam's very close here. Push the jack right through the hole. Has That's done. Right. Two green. Yeah, well played. Made two out of that. Might see Michael Stepney arriving through this. Straight through the head. Open something up with his last. The only danger, I guess, is the front solid green bowl, the live bowl with a chalk mark on it. If it hits that solid straight onto the jack, it will go with it. But, I mean, plays down the backhand. He'll be looking for a corner. The inside corner, maybe of his time own out. red bowl. If he gets it solid, he could jam it Michael, in for shot. Four timeout calls remaining. I don't think he'll draw it. He could play an absolute stunning bowl down there, you know, and get nothing and be three inches away from the jack. You'll see the very various different angles that he's uh, he's got to use. Totally agree. I think I'd be very surprised if he if he's not playing some sort of weight here. Slightly under. Sam taking no chances, covering the uh, back area. Same again, do you think? Playing on the forehand, isn't he? Just trying to draw around. Get shot here if he gets this. Yeah, the, the trouble, the, the danger was, you know, getting a bad connection, banging the jack down the back here and, and giving Sam a very easy fall. That's what was going through his mind there. So he was just trying to play top side. I mean, Sam can play the same, same draw. Two shots, Sam Tolchard. Set score, 7-6 seven, after seven ends. Well, two to go. Michael Stepney leads by a single shot. It's been an interesting first set, Jason. It has, yes. It's been a good first set as well, some good balls played. Jack length, 24 and a half metres. Disappointed, I would think, with that.
bit of a loose end, this uh, eighth end. So he just wants to compose himself here. One red. Yeah, shake of the head there from Sam. There go taking advantage here. Still room to draw here. Yeah. Oh, Sam, yeah, he just needs to compose himself, forget about the first three balls of this end. He's not wanting to lose a loose three. No, definitely not. Time out. I mean, I mean he, he played this length the very first time. You have four time three, out balls, balls remaining. three balls in about three or four inches. He's tried it another couple of times and just struggled with his, uh, with his weight a little bit and allowed Mike to score two twos to his jack length. So he'll, he'll want to get this in straight away. Good line, all down to wait from there. Not far off. It's very well played. Not far off at all. Oh, well played. Can you come with it? One green. Yep, it's enough. Big sigh of relief there. <laughs> Played through. Yeah, it's not going to get back, so it's going to be a, a one end shootout for this first set. <laughs> one shot, Sam Tolshard. <laughs> set score 7 7 after eight ends. So, all the hard work of eight ends, and uh, as Jason says, we find ourselves at a one end shootout for the bragging rights for the first set. Just wondering what length he'll play now with this jack. I think he might go slightly further, you know. Jack length, 25 metres. It's half a metre further, that's all. Important now to get this first ball straight on it. Disappointed with that opening ball. So maybe stepping here a chance to capitalise. It's very well played here. Yes, very good opening. Your ball, three feet in front of Jack High. Michael's ball, the gap is 10 inches. Opting it on. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> One down, one green. Yeah, it's in. Cheeky little uh, falling back against Michael's ball was enough. Yeah, 
comes up, isn't it? Stays up, maybe. Hard to tell. Looks, uh, well, here it looks close. Kind of listening to Greg's microphone. Time out. Sam, you have three time out calls remaining. Three calls remaining. Well, this is, this is not all that easy. I mean, there's a couple of balls just in the way. You can play right round it, or you can afford to play into it. Sam must think he's still on. Yeah, definitely must think that. You can make statement, he's got a couple of options here. <coughs> Off either hand, really. It just needs to be a foot further than his last ball. Yep. Any connection on it should be enough to get it in. Just playing at it. Nearly got this. Very close. Oh, he's unlucky. Yeah. Very unlucky. Probably want it just to bend that fraction bit more. Great effort, though. Sorry, Sam. There's the spot. Uh, green ball's winning. So Sam just. Just trying to get another one in there to try and uh, stop Michael pinging the bowl out. Well played as well. Two green. Again, he has well played, but he's just drifted slightly. Yeah, well, he didn't want them to sit together, you no. know, because Mike could have obviously still pinged them both away. I think Mike's got the more difficult shot now, I think it's almost similar to uh, to what Sam's just played. You know, sit off either of the green bowls, if he is just slightly up, could get the jack. I don't think he'll want to go chasing the bowl, because that becomes very difficult playing that two to three yard over pace. Certainly good enough to draw this. Just like that again. Yes. Yeah, and up. So yeah. difficult to play that, uh, you know, that timing yeah. shot down there. Yeah, the, we see that every game. It's the most difficult shot to play in the court and surface. Yep, well, a pretty decent uh, opening Two set here. Sam but it's going to be Sam Tolchard from England. That takes the first set. 9-7. Once again, thanks for joining us down here at the uh, World Indoor Bowls Championships. Brand new sponsor for us this year, so let's have a little look at why Imagine Cruising is more than just a cruise. Jack, that's 26 metres. Well, there we go, some amazing stuff there from an 
enchanting river cruises across Europe and beyond to romantic rail journeys on board iconic locomo locomotives. Looks absolutely stunning. If you are interested in anything you see, you can go online and look at uh, the online brochures and packages that they've got uh, to offer you at imaginecruising.co.uk. Just an answer to a question we've been asked, Jason, about if the players run out of timeouts, do they get an extra timeout if they have got to play a tiebreak? Yes, they'll get one additional timeout for that tiebreak. Adjustment for Sam. Doesn't want the jack. Yeah. Well, it just gets up. Just lacking a bit of pace. Don't forget the winner Too in this green. game will face Mark Dawes in the second round. Self my best back ball and the likelihood that that might plays through this. Just be trying to draw off his backhand, just roughing around the, the front red ball. And he's not playing weight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now where's that ball gone? I think he's. He could maybe have made the shot from that. Yeah, Jack's still yeah. in play. Yep. One shot, Michael Stepney. Set score 1 0 after the first end. Fortune favours the brave, as they say. Good hit. Yes, absolutely. Um, I've decided I'm not making predictions anymore. <laughs> 27 and a half meters. <laughs>
miss that line slightly. Yes, he's playing with a slightly narrower bias bowl than Sam, I think. I think uh, Michael Norman plays those uh, Tiger Pros. Yeah. Hold the line pretty well. Well, not far off the bowl of the jack. Got the jack. Get a little plate. Might you bowl short of the jack? Yeah, five inches in front of the jack. Very close here. One red. Just a, maybe 18 inches further. Right, well done again. Question there, why do we call the jack um, jack length in metres and then uh, use kind of feet in inches and etc? I mean, th it's mainly because the, the minimum length is the 23 metres, obviously. It's a lot easier because the spots are, apart from the first the first spot, um, it's metre spaces, so it's a lot easier for the uh, official at the side of the green that paces it out um, to get that jack length very quickly for the players. Uh, it's a lot easier shouting 23 metres than... 905 and a half inches. One red. I'd definitely never be able to work that out. 2300 centimetres, isn't it? I think. <laughs> no, is that not right? Is that my maths is bad? Well, it's three to one, but I'm not sure how we how we get rid of it. Play the backhand outside edge of the shorter bolt. Might just scoot it past the jack. What's the uh, close to something? What's the angle like? Oh, yeah. Good effort, though. Yeah, he was within the target area there, which is the, the important thing. It's unfortunate the connection. One shot, got Michael it. Stepney. Set score 2 0 after two ends. He showed every confidence there by playing a, a running ball. Jack length 28 and a half metres. And we will be having our competition this afternoon again. In the first during the first game at two o'clock this afternoon. So there will be a chance on both Facebook and YouTube. To win uh, Shot. 
They're shut. Tops are actually quite nice. Yes, they are. Yeah. 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 The, the, um, we had the we had these shirts last year, obviously, but they're slightly different with the uh, Imagine Cruising sponsors logo on. Good adjustment on there green for Sam on his second delivery. The last ball is six inches in front of Jack High. Just pulling up. Just a couple of feet to come. Disappointed with that. <laughs> yeah, he will be. Plenty of room. Let's let him off again. Yes. Sam here with a chance to make a two tie the, the scores up in this second set. Yeah, well played. Yep, it is for two. Two shots, Sam Tolchard. Set score two two after three ends. So Start the fourth end of the best of a possible nine ends. Jack Lynn's twenty four and a half meters. Five inches in front of Jack High. I 
not too far away again. So I'll play it here. Yeah, great ball. Close for shot. Sure. You're from ball. Mike's ball. Mike's ball. The gap is five inches. Well, just looking to get round this uh, last bowl of Michael Stepney's. Second prize, I think, yes. sat there. Went to a good home. Just slightly under with pace again. <coughs> what the language was yep. suggest he doesn't like this. how players are very animated about, you know, if they do play a, a shot and they know that it's going to be heavy or short or... Yeah, it's, it's, it's normally not easy to tell straight away, isn't it, if, you, if you're too quick, you know, yeah. when you flung a ball too quick, yeah, especially on a surface as fast as this. Like trying to fade in through this gap here, is it? think that'll cause too much damage sometimes when a carpet's so quick it can slide across the top but I think it's one red yeah one shot Michael Stepney <coughs> set score three two after four ends Jack length, 24 metres. Just a reminder as well that once this game is finished, it's a double session we've got this morning. So about 10 minutes after the conclusion of this game, there'll be a second game of the morning. And that will be um, David Gurley, MBE uh, from Scotland, who's the 13th seed against uh, Cody Althoff from Canada. Excellent second ball from Michael Stepney. Mike's ball. It's um, six inches in front of Jack High. 
one inch. Two reds. The gap is 12 inches. Then wait through this. Takes one away. Sent Mike's uh, ball through the back, and the ball stayed on. It's very close to the. the Ditch. Two red. Another good ball. I just thought it was just going to lift that other ball away from the jack. That would have been a bit unlucky, but it's finished, Phil. Going for the two. One away. <laughs> Trashing the place. Cover the spot here, or do you think it'll just draw as near to the head as he can? Doesn't want to broaden the target any, of course. No, of course he's got. He has got the the deep back bowl as well. I mean, he just draw down to Sam's bowl. It's very well played. I'm just. I just fell the wrong side. Fell I think. the wrong side, yeah. One red. Playing through it again. Just trying to peel it away, just needs to bend. One shot, Michael Stepney. So Michael Stepney moving into a 4-2 lead in this second set. Set score 4-2 after five ends. A set he needs to win, having lost the first one, to force the tie break. Sam Tolchar can obviously if tie this set, doesn't need to win it as long as he ties it, that's uh, <laughs> enough. We're with your day again today. Five games of balls for you. All singles. Checking the length of the, the jack here. Yep, jack obviously needs to be 23 metres from the front edge of the uh, the mat. Mat slightly, slightly up. Yes, mat's uh, just over one metre in front of the tee. It's okay. That's the part where he takes his fingers off. <laughs> yes, it's. Uh, you see, Mike, he's, he's, he's been here a long time. He knows better than that. Yeah. <laughs> so, almost a uh, minimum length. Jack length, 23 metres. <laughs> and a good opening ball from Michael Stepney. Start of the sixth end.
the draft back now. We'd be happy with uh, those two opening balls of this end. Sam Tosh are just looking to come down to Michael's last delivery there. One red. Michael's very well played here. Yes, he's played a great ball. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, would have preferred that to have finished on the other side of the head. I mean. Yeah. Sam will just probably go for those two balls. I mean, he can draw down either side as well, down the forehand the to the jack. to the little wall of red balls, and or he can touching. draw the backhand yeah. to his own ball, or he plays them all away. Yeah, he could potentially, if he gets the middle ball, he could take the three red out. Yep. That's a connection. <laughs> Always. <coughs> a good hit a little bit unfortunate but his green bowl has run down a little bit towards the uh, the re-spot would have preferred to have just removed all the balls yeah about a metre away so that will be the amount of room Sam has to uh, pinch this end so wants to throw down his anchor as use your phrase yep I think he has done. Yeah, yeah just enough. <laughs> One, Sam. One shot, Sam Tolchard. Set score 4 3 after six ends. Again, another tight set, as was the first one. Mike's one, eight, ends Sam, seven so far. Jack Leather, 26 and a half metres. Twenty two inches in front of Jack Hyatt.
down to pace from there. Yeah, it's a good ball. One red. Yeah. So the cracking line again. The gap is four oh. inches. Step will be looking to try and get in here for a second shot. Yeah, just to try and give himself a bit of daylight in a second set. It's here again. He just beat the front one. Sitting away, sit down. Sat in a, a decent place for Mike, it may force Sam just to draw down the forehand. I'm out. Sam, you have two calls remaining. And just an answer to uh, Ray Hall's question, have we ever had a player in the tournament and we've put up our own bias? Yeah, it's happened in this tournament, but um, I'm going to avoid saying who it was. Uh, <laughs> but it has happened uh, in this tournament, and that can be a combination of lots of things, the main one being nerves. Yes. Well, Sam, either side of it with decent pace. So Michael will just be looking here to play just either around his own ball, that he, the last ball he played, or indeed turning that through. Try and give him a, a count of a two here. I'm definitely giving up. Or it might even change his hand and draw another shot for there. <laughs> you have played this game, haven't you? I have played it. Yeah, okay. yeah. Just checking. Oh, the balls have fell down then. <laughs> Yeah. Two shots, yeah. Michael Stepney. Balls fell yeah. down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, honestly, I have played. Yeah. Set score, 6-3 after seven ends. That's why I'm up here, because I'm obviously playing the wrong shots. because you were playing your game you, you can't play your four yeah hands, I don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you're playing your normal that game in your head yeah. stick to the backhand I've got a terrible <laughs> delivery <Yeah. laughs> thanks for telling everybody that
Well, Sam, well played. Yep, very well played there. One green. No, it's two inches in front of Jack High. Mike's ball is eight inches past Jack Eye. Down here, not far away. Oh, brilliant! Oh, it's just ah, going to fall away again. Yeah. And Mike looks to the heavens. Well, if Sam can make another one with this last bowl, that would make this a another one-end shootout for the set. Sam obviously only needs to tie this set, so you know that would be good. So it's a big bowl this for him. Just the pace. One shot, Sam Tolshard. Set win, Mike the step win. Oh, it's another end, isn't it? Set score six four after eight ends. Yeah. Yeah. Panic then. I thought my thought my scorecard had been wrong. One more end to play. I think. I think Sam Tolchar panicked as well. So six four going into the last end of this second set. Sam Tolchar needs to score a two to stop the tie break. Don't forget, we've got one more game for you this morning. David Gaul, AMBE, will face the Canadian Cody Oldtoff. So we might just try to come maybe 18 inches or so further.
One red. Well, a bit of a loose end, but uh, still possible for Sam to score the two he requires. Here comes the first one. Touch on the jack would be a bonus. Yes. Well, he needs to beat the back green bowl. He's coming down, he's almost drawn yeah. the shot, yeah. It's a good second. Yeah. One green. A very good second. I mean, Sam's now got to draw within four inches to stop the tie break. Body language. Just down to pace. I think he's just played quick. over it. Yeah, yeah. Too quick. Yep, just over, overplayed it. So it's going to be a set win for Michael Stepney. One shot green. Six set shots to five. That's tie break. So into a tie break we go. The rules are slightly different. It's uh, just the ends won by the player, so it's the Killed. first player to win two of the three ends. Who won it? Jack Benz, 24 metres. Backing up the ball from Sam Tolshard. Well, it's a good bowl, but uh, it's a little unlucky to finish at the side of there. That'll uh, help Michael Stepney just a little bit. He's going uh, for the two bowls or even the jack solid. Oh, very good hit. Now, that may have just stayed in. <coughs> Is it in or out? Take a look here. Yeah, just have a, a quick look. 
Just asking the uh, umpire, Mike Davies, just to check this. Might have to string it. It looks very, very close. Both of these players are playing some good stuff. It's always a shame for one to have to lose. running the string from uh, end to end. Very technical stuff. I think it's just in, but it's like quite close. Well played. Yeah. It's a very good bowl there. Just navigating the, the shorter bowls. Michael would have been having a little look at that uh, that line. Well, Michael, oh, look at this. Very close. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> yep. Excellent ball by Mike Stepney. That was a fabulous ball. Interesting. Just to just hold up, I think. Nice and solid on the red. Oh, hang on. Has he pushed it out of the ring? I think he has. I think he has. Nope. Some really good balls being played here to this displaced Jack. That's a, a top class ball there from. Uh, Sam Tolshard. Time out called. So. Michael, you have three timeout calls remaining. Well, you can see he's got that ball down the uh, the back there. I'm just trying to f 
figure out from the position we're in whether should he play the bowl but kill the jack as yeah, in out the side of the ring yeah. will he win on the respot yeah I think that's what he was looking at there that would suggest no <laughs> <laughs> well yep yeah. and he's just played a cracking bowl hasn't he and he's not far away again yeah, he's not far away here if, is it going to run is it going to run Oh, just fell away. What a great end of bowls First that was. Dan Polka. No, 24 and a half metres. by Sam Toshart again. He adjusted the pace. Well, again, a, another good bowl, but that's going to probably just tempt Michael to uh, play the two bowls or the jack. Close. One, two. Oh, great shot. Two red. Well, big bowl here for Michael Stepney. Time out. Michael, you have two calls remaining. Yes, yeah, so that's bowl to stay in the world open singles.
Well, oh, don't it be for here? Not far away, you know. Wants to get to the jack. Oh, Seven brilliant, athletes. brilliant ball. Great ball under pressure from Michael Stepney. Mm, wondering, will he try to uh, to flick the red ball away? I've just changed the scoreboard, thank you. I've just posted that down. Time out. Time you have two timeouts remaining. <laughs> so I'm just trying to draw here, just reach Michael's last ball. No. Now he's trying to play the, the ball out. Play the ball away. Well, like well. So. Oh, oh. oh, now. Oh, no, he's still going to be. My That's goodness. very, very unlucky. Everything he, moved. He deserved better than that, given the fact that he would have the confidence to play that shot. Second in, Mike, Michael Stepney. Yeah. But an absolutely brilliant last ball by both players. Certainly was some uh, big pressure balls being played there uh, by Michael Stepney. Sam wanted just the the flick of the ball. Unfortunately, connected with his own. I thought it was still going to jam in down the back. Yeah, there were so many balls moving. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it moved everything. So we're going into the final end of this uh, tie break. This is the only end in the game where players are allowed to nominate to kill the end. So the end gets replayed rather than a, a respotted jack. They do have to nominate it though before they send the ball. They can nominate it as many times as they like, but they're only allowed jack to kill it once. Meters. But it's been another uh, great game this morning. Just inside his own, just trying even to come down to this last ball that Sam Tolshard's played. Yeah, great ball again. Nominated to kill. Oh, nominated to kill. Hmm. Well, you can hear that he's nominated to kill this. He's hit Close. it. Yeah, well nominated. So they'll start the end again. So that is his uh, his end gone. So Sam will not be able to kill any more ends. It's nominated nominated to kill the end it needs to go it goes back yeah
That lives 23 and a half meters. <coughs> well, has he got a better start this time? 18 inches. <laughs> Took the ball by Michael Stepney. Played some good bowls in this direction on this uh, Five inches in front of slightly over minimum length jack. Half an inch. Well, needs to get down to the jack. Oh, 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 lucky. Good effort. One red. Uh, question there, how many times can you nominate a kill? You can nominate as many times as you like, but once you have killed the end once, that's it, it's gone. So Sam wouldn't have the uh, ability to nominate anymore. Michael Stepney has still got his. Well said, Alistair. Well, let's have a look. That's not actually a bad bowl. That almost forces... Sam Tolchard to draw this rather than run the bowl or the jack. He had a couple of options before where he could have played the bowl out, dragged the jack straight through the bat there. Could out. He could still try and play red onto red, but he would need a, a decent uh, decent angle from the front connection. Yeah. Or he, he goes Sam and he, have two calls remaining. he plays bang on the dead draw. So, uh, this bowl to keep him in this Indoor Bowls Championships. Dead draw down the backhand. Good height. All down to weight from there. Not far away, you know. Tell you something. Not far away. Not the whole. Oh! oh. <laughs> Unlucky. What a great attempt from... Uh, Sam Tolchard, but it's going to be Michael Stepney of Scotland that books his place into the second round against Mark Dawes. So let's have a look at what we have coming up for the rest of today. 
got another game for you in around about 10 minutes time where it's going to be David Gourlay MBE taking on the Canadian Colty Old Toff. Um, for your entertainment this afternoon, two o'clock is Nick Brett against Jonathan Ross, and a quarter to four will be Stuart Anderson taking on David Bolt. Hope you've enjoyed the game this morning. We'll be back with you in around about ten minutes.